Armenia and Azerbaijan neighboring former Soviet states blamed each other for the renewed fighting which began overnight at several points along their borders, raising fears of another major armed conflict while Russia's military is tied up in Ukraine. It was observed that Armenia concentrated offensive weapons, heavy artillery and military personnel along the borders of Azerbaijan. All these facts once again demonstrate that Armenia is preparing for a large-scale military provocation. Azerbaijan is trying to claim that these actions came as a response to some kind of provocations by the Armenian side. But we can definitely state that this information is absolutely false and has nothing to do with the reality. The neighboring countries have fought two wars and seen regular smaller clashes span three decades. Both Russia and the United States called on Baku and Yerevan to observe restraint. Meanwhile, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said on Tuesday he was concerned that Russia could try to steer the pot in the conflict between the two countries. Well, always, always concerns, uh, because uh, whether uh, Russia tries in some fashion to stir the pot to create a distraction uh, from Ukraine is something that uh, we're always concerned about. The office of the UN Secretary General urged in a daily briefing for immediate steps to de-escalate tensions. The Secretary General is deeply concerned about reports of renewed fighting along the Armenia-Azerbaijani border. He calls on the sides to take immediate steps to de-escalate tensions. Turkey, which neighbors both countries, but it is a close ally for Azerbaijan, said it will continue to stand by Azerbaijan. We stand by beloved Azerbaijan. We say it once again. Beloved Azerbaijan is not alone. At the core of the dispute of both countries is the region of Nagorno-Karabakh. It is, according to internationally recognized borders, firmly a part of Azerbaijan, but is populated by ethnic Armenians. Both countries were part of the Soviet Union before its dissolution at the end of 1991. The dispute has led to full-scale war in the 1980s and 1990s, a six-week war in 2020, and continuing clashes for decades.